people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasa, what they do. Now they have a saying that goes something like this. One fool makes many and also Jamaica is suffering from a copycat syndrome and that pertains to bloggers and it also pertains to persons on social media now the thing that is popping in the news is that there was a viral video that went out and we are speaking about a man that was basically talking some ish about the prime minister we are talking about andrew hollis and also the popo as it pertains to the big c people if you don't know what i am speaking about this is it right here take a listen take a look now after that video drop less than 24 hours the popo them locate him they knew exactly who he was and where he is and um, people this is the video just to remind you take a listen take a look and then i'll give my peace Man, this is a police. Now, people, if there's one thing that we know about the Popo in Jamaica, they are very vindictive. And people like them say, revenge is a dish that is best served cold. So, people, this is the Popo that is in charge of the investigation. This is what he had to say after he held on to this man. People, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. SSP ops. Um, last night, yeah. Last night? Go ahead. Right. Note, we have found the man that we're looking for, so you can stand down on the record. It was on our bed hiding, but we found it. Alright, All right, come. Um, Miss Blake. Now people, them have a saying that goes something like this. The higher the monkey climbs is the more that he is exposed. So therefore, while this man was on social media, show off himself, uh, exalt himself for his 15 minutes of fame. He did not know that Andrew Holness was in his feelings and people, the truth and the facts that Jamaica is a democratic society. However, if you talk ill, of the government especially the prime minister they are going to get in their feelings and they are going to call the popo and they are going to sick him on you like one like a dog point blank and period now like i said before one fool makes many and jamaica suffers from a copycat syndrome and i am not speaking about the bloggers the dancer bloggers or the news bloggers sister p i am not speaking about those person i am speaking as it pertains to social media so people take a listen take a look to our next video that is buzzing over social media well not really buzzing over social media it is in my possession people take a listen take a look and then i'll give my peace now people you hear what these morons are promoting you hear what they are elevating you hear what they are spotlighting they are saying that they are fully done them come from tanayard primary tanayard i Tanayard University, that means that them not going to school, not even Sunday school. That means that them no, no, them no, no, ed, them no, no sense, them no, no education. Them not have nothing but some dumbness to basically display on social media. And this is exactly what they are doing. They are exalting themselves. They are showing their true colors point blank and period so people just when you think that that is the last of it no people there is more because there is also a next video with a next person looking for his 15 minutes of fame so people take a listen take a look and then i'll give my peace yo everybody go let them free the andrew oldness and the police me not free the andrew oldness me a bad man police me a bad man you don't know if you find me 350 julius road arnett garden kingston 12 me now run, police go. 
any police work come for me. I bullet, 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 bullet. And you only say, tell, you, you did ask me for lockdown Jamaica. You want lockdown Jamaica, you can't tell me for come off of the road. See, Andrew Owens, that's your mother, Andrew Owens. Me a bad man, come look for me now. Me, me now run, see me ya? Tattoo everything I show Andrew Owens. You can't come tell bad man for come off of the street. And you come look for me and say, Jamaica, they pan fully locked down here for the come. Cause I go go now. Any police boy who feel like they want to come touch my door, make sure they don't come bulletproof from head to toe or on the ear bulletproof because I go 350 jewelers over there. I'm not afraid of nobody. Everybody at that ball lockdown and you not come for people. Come for me. I'm a bad man. Andrew Oles. My boy Andrew Oles. I'm a PMP. I don't respect no labor. Andrew Oles goes to the mother. Police goes to the mother. Every police in the Jamaica, come in a care. Me a bad man. Come look for me now. Me don't talk a yes on me there. 350 jewelers will me not moving. You don't know what I mean? You don't know me. Me a bad man. Oh, come now. So people, you hear what them say? It seems like dumbness won't ever be outdone. Because as soon as this man see a next man getting some spotlight for some stupidity for social media, it seems like he got in his feelings. It seems like he wanted his 15 minutes of fame. He wanted the spotlight. He wanted to climb up on the pole. And people like them say, the higher that the monkey climbs is the more that he is exposed. So therefore, he is trying to outdo that other person. So therefore, he is trying to make sure that he is seen that he is under the social media microscope. He wants to make sure that Andrew Holness also respond to him and also the top popo. So people, we are speaking about a set of persons on social media. And the truth is that I don't know if it is because of the big C and everybody are staying at them yard. It seems like people them get bored and people like them say the devil always finds work for idler. However, people, it seems like this man was getting a backlash and he basically made another video and he was responding. He was apologizing for his stupid action. So people, take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my peace. What's going on people? Back again. Last night I put out a video on my Facebook page and I know it gone viral and people in Jamaica take it serious, especially the I think the government and the police constabulary force. And I just want to let everybody know it was just all a joke, it was nothing serious. You know, I get the video on my phone um last night and I just jump out my car and I just out of the heat at the moment. I just make that video and I send it out. As you know, all is on YouTube and Twitter, all these pages, um, talking about stuff, blogging about stuff, but just want to let everybody know, just keep calm, keep calm. I didn't mean anything by it, it was purely a joke. I was just mimicking what happened to the guys them in, um, I think it was Ola Bar, Spanish Town. I don't, I'm not even quite sure. I know I just realized that, oh, this video gone viral and, you know, people taking it serious and stuff like that. So just to let Andrew Olness and the Jamaica Constabulary Force know that I didn't mean anything by it. And... It was pure joke, you know, like I said, I always blogging and stuff on the social media. And I hope everybody does listen to what the Prime Minister says, stay indoors because it's really serious. Now we are, in, we, we, I'm in England and people are in left, right and centre. Our debt toll got, our debt toll gone up over 500 people a day. So, you know, this is really, really serious and, you know, Sorry for coming out and just making fun of it, but I know how really, really serious this is. So I just want everybody to stay indoors, follow what the Prime Minister say, and just keep her calm. I didn't mean anything by it. And like I said, Andrew Olness, Jamaica Constabulary Force, I have my sincere apology for the swearing that I was swearing and calling your name. But like I said, it was a pure joke I was doing it for. So I hope everybody can just forget about this one. I will just can move on and concentrate on dealing with it. So sorry about that. Thank you. Bye. So people, once again, one more again, we hear a next person saying that he is sorry. But people, all time people have a saying that goes something like this. Sorry can buy soldier Larry. However, the damage was already done because he achieved his objective. He wanted to get his 15 minutes of fame. He wanted some views where I talk about on Facebook, on social media. And he got that. And he think that the thing to do now is to come and apologize. But people, the truth and the fact is that an apology does not mean a thing unless it is sincere. So let me ask this question and you guys can respond in the comment section. Do you think that his apology is sincere or do you think that he realized that he got the views and now he is doing damage control? People, let me know what you think in the comment section.
Now people like them say, the devil always finds work for idlers. And there's also a next saying, and it goes something like this. Idle monkey, walk, idle dog. So therefore, birds of a feather flock together. So therefore, if one fool say one fool to something, he is always going to follow. Because people, it is easier to follow than to lead. Now, when we consider the ages of these persons that we see on social media, people, they are not no young buck. Them are not no spring chicken. They are some persons in a them 30 and 40. And as it applies to the person, we are speaking about the pioneer of this stupidity. We are speaking about a man that is from Jonestown. We are speaking about a 37-year-old person. And his name is Dane Mitchell. We are speaking about the person that initially told the Prime Minister and the Popo, figure Laba Juice, their mother and people, do the math. You know exactly what that means. So anyways, after the original incident, I am speaking about the incident in Jonestown as it pertains to the person we are speaking about, the 37-year-old man. We are speaking about Dane Mitchell. It seems like he has retained a lawyer and the lawyer's name is Alexander Shaw. And Mr. Shaw is claiming that his client is innocent. His client was not on the road after he had something. So people, do you believe or do you think that the lawyer will say just about anything for his client? Because at the end of the day, he is a paid he is sponsored by his client point blank and period so people let me ask you this question based on a similar incident that transpired in trinidad and tobago where the government and the popo made sure that it was mandatory that two persons that basically this the system because of the big c they apologize publicly do you think that the government of jamaica and the popo should also insist that these clowns also apologize publicly people let me know your think in the comment section so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up